last year and some of your endeavors, 511 days ago. Um, when I was in the military deployed overseas, I remember reading Thomas Wolfe's novel, depressingly titled, You Can't Go Home Again. His words, you can't go home to your family, back home to your childhood, back home to a young man's dreams of glory and fame, back home to places in the country, back home to the old forms and systems of things which once seemed everlasting, but which are changing all the time, back home to the escapades of time and memory. Yet today we have come home, looking around, it appears as we remember, but we know it is not. Over the last year and a half, it has changed. We have changed, the world has changed. We can't, we can rebuild what we have lost, but we can't duplicate what once was. What we can do and what we must do is not just copy what we remember. This congregation has survived for 150 years as we celebrated last year. If someone from that initial congregation or one 100 years ago or 50 years ago were to join us today, would they recognize our rituals and know that it is the same faith? The core of our belief our acceptance of other human beings, our willingness to challenge the basis, the biases we were taught and engage in the world and to leave it better for our having been here. That is our calling. And that is why we have come home today. So now it's your turn to speak. We're back in our building here after all this time and all that's going on. What are your thoughts on this? Anybody want to say anything? No. Well, I just I forgot to say it at the beginning that I mean the perfect day. I mean it's the first day of a new month. It's the first day of a, a faith, a new a new era for us. Uh, yes, but unfortunately we are. Forced into, uh, you know, forced into uh, having to uh, you know, go, go, go from the norm of just our daily court first services. But this is this is the beginning of a new era, and it is uh, baby and it is baby steps that, that we'll be doing gradually. And it's the it's the perfect day for it. Again, beginning the beginning of a new month. Sun is the sun is out. The sun is shining. Um, and we're together, and we're together, Sharon. Tom Hollis, I was president during the pandemic, and I had a heck of a time trying to get things moving around here. I had to take care of a very disabled brother and do many other things, but uh now the sun is shining again and i'm so happy that the presidency is now in the very capable hands of patrick and i have just all kinds of hope and excitement uh, about this place and what's going to happen in in the, the rest of this year and next year uh i'm looking forward to new members uh more music arts here it's it's a it's a rebirth it's really wonderful Anybody else want to say anything? Anybody want to move? Anybody in line? Um, anyone? Yeah, I'll say something. Okay. <laughs> I like where uh, Hollis stood. Yeah, I agree with you, Hollis. It's great to be back in the building again. And it's great to see faces and people sitting in our chairs. Uh, 
it's a little distressing to see all the unused chairs stacked up in the corner, but we're gonna bring those out and they represent the future, the hope and the intention of the future to fill this place again. I'm glad to, see, to hear about uh, the, the school, the Birch School uh, starting up again. So they will fill our corridors and halls and rooms with children learning. And I think that's great. Uh, I'm not sure that we need to try and speak through our masks. It seems to me that we could uh, dispense with a mask for a single speaker. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> yeah, get a thumbs up from the people in the room. So if they're willing to risk, oh, you get to see where I cut myself shaving. <laughs> Uh, I can't find it. Anyway, it's great to see those on Zoom. And uh, I'd like to ask the, the gardeners in the congregation, is there something that we can do about some of these plants that are, uh, you know, a little... Yeah, we, we, are, we are not a congregation of vegetables. So I think it would be uh, fair to get the chainsaw out and you know, take a whack at that one. <laughs> anyway, looking forward to the day when we're all together again. And uh, if you have time, those of you in the neighborhood, come around and take a look at the art. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Anyone on Zoom? Maybe come to the podium and ask again. Maybe come to the podium and ask them. Yeah. Oh, Lydia. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, good, Hi, good morning. morning. Hey. Lydia. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. I just I love seeing I love seeing you now. now. Yes. Yes, hi there. Again. Again. Okay. Got it? Okay. Okay. Um, have some closing words here. Uh, from Isaiah 55. For you will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song for you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Let us now go outdoors and burst into song and sing Spirit of Life together once again. All right. All right, everybody wave. <laughs> Stay connected, we'll all sing together. Yeah, stay on, we'll all sing. We have a yeah, we have a game position that I'm talking about. Yep. If I can only go so far. All right, so how's it going? Spirit of come to me, sing in my heart, on the earth of passion, oh, in the wind, rise in the sea.
Flame, but not the light of truth, the warmth of community, or the fire of commitment. This we carry in our hearts until we are together again, and we will be together again. Yeah. 